So I think the school of tomorrow needs to combine three things. Uh, the first is it needs to have a strong sense of the individual, the personal. So it needs to be more diverse than it is now to allow for individual talents, interests, creativity to, to flourish. I think the second element is this idea of community. So how do you nurture a school that has a strong community that is outward facing, engaging with others um, and really building a sense of community uh, in the place that it exists? And the third element is, is this relationship with nature, that we have realized that our practices have become very disconnected from a deep understanding of how nature and natural systems work. So how do we teach in a way that helps our children and young people understand the fundamental universal principles of life that guide everything that we do? My name is Richard Dunn and I am the Director of Education at the Harmony Project. And what we are doing at the Harmony Project is to work with other organizations to transform education so that it's much more relevant and coherent and meaningful for young people. What I see in education in many parts of the world is it's very disjointed. It's subject siloed, so it's very separated out. And actually, I think what we need to understand is that there's a much more holistic nature to how things work. So our work of harmony is explaining that when things work well, it's because they work well together. They're not separated out. So learning needs to really reinforce this message. So how do we see how things work as systems in a joined up way? And how can we frame learning around that understanding of systems thinking? The work of the Harmony Project is looking at how nature's principles of harmony can inform this new way of learning. So if we look at the natural world and understand how it works, it works in cycles. So this idea of cyclical systems where there's no waste or pollution is a really great model for us. If we want to create a healthy future, we're not going to create a lot of waste and a lot of pollution. If we look at how nature is interdependent and interconnected, we understand that it's about relationships, that when things work well together, it's about the relationships that are, are created and sustained within that. Uh, another example is nature teaches us diversity, that diversity is a good thing. Having different perspectives on things, seeing the diversity of flowers in a wild flower meadow, or growing food in diversity. These are all really important messages. And that nature is constantly adapting, constantly evolving and changing. And that's exactly what we need to do now. Uh, change is not a bad thing, it's a really good thing. And when we look again to nature, we see that it's constantly changing and developing and evolving. So how can we embrace these principles and help them to inform the practices that we develop so that they work really well, because the most sustainable, healthiest systems of all are the systems of nature. And we are nature. So when we understand how nature works, we understand how we work. I think schools and education has to change now because we can see very clearly and the lockdown COVID pandemic has been a really powerful example. We can see that many of the systems and practices we have in place in the world are, are damaging and degrading the, the nature, the natural world. And that's what we rely on for everything in our lives. So if we don't get that relationship right, if we don't work in harmony with nature, then we will continue to create the problems which are leading to issues like climate change, like the global pandemic. So it's really now a time for us to think of a new paradigm, a new way of looking at learning and a way of learning which makes sense. It makes sense for us and it makes sense in relation to the world in which we live. 
And if we can get that right, then we will have a sustainable future. If we don't, then we will continue to create the problems. And the prognosis already is pretty serious and pretty worrying. So we have to do things differently. And the starting point is education. I think values are at the heart of any good school or organization. So the values are the ways in which we learn how to work together, to communicate with each other, to behave and treat each other in a good way. So there are many values that we can explore together. If I were to pick out particular values that I think are important, they would be values like respect. How do we respect one another and show respect for one another? And indeed, how we respect our world. I would also include responsibility, our ability to respond to the situation that we find ourselves in, be that a relationship or be that a big problem that we want to solve. So becoming leaders is about developing a sense of responsibility and uh, believing that we can make a difference in the world. And then alongside that, if I were to pick out maybe a couple more values, they would be the idea of care and kindness and compassion and really looking after one another and having a caring nature. I think that's really important. We can see what happens when we don't care and the damage that that can cause. So caring is really important. And on the other side, I would say something like courage. And courage comes from the French word cœur, which means heart. So when we encourage each other, we give people heart, we help them to believe that they can do things. And I think courage is a really important word. We need to stand up for what we believe in. And then we need the courage to live that out, to do something with that belief. And hopefully that will create the positive change that we want to see. I think this conversation around the school of tomorrow is a really important one because we can see that our education system is currently not working in most places. It's not fit for the future that we want to see. So for me, the starting point is to really define what kind of future do we want? And in very simple terms, I think that's a future that is about two words, harmony and health. Harmony is about this idea of things working together and health is a result of harmony. When things work well together, the outcomes are healthy. So when we look to the natural world, for example, we see that when a system is in harmony, it is a healthy system, a system where life flourishes. If we look at it in terms of community and people, it's exactly the same. When we live in harmony with each other, we treat each other in the right way and we help each other to learn well together, then we create this incredible, healthy, joyful uh, community that is, is really about celebrating the things that we do together. So I think we should see the outcome of all of this is this idea of celebration, that when we do things well and we work well together and we give ourselves time to celebrate and to reflect on the great work that we're doing, then we are uh, educating in the right way. And for me, the Wehrfuhrschule project is exactly about that. So I'm really excited by the work that is being done and hope that these messages can really create some positive change.